Hi, hello everyone. So we are going to solve problem set 1.1 from crazy book. So there are three questions. Question A, verify that Y is a solution of the ODE. So Y is a solution of the ODE. So this one is the ODE. Ordinary differential equation, so ODE. And then B, determine from Y the particular solution of the IVP. So this is our initial value problem. And then C, graph the solution of the IVP. Okay, let's start by doing problem A first. Okay, verify that Y is a solution, meaning that if we plug this into the ODE, we will get the correct result. So I will start from the left hand side and let's see if we can make it into the right hand side. So the left hand side said that y prime and y prime is equal to dy over dx because we differentiate y with respect to x. Okay, now I will rewrite y because our y is rather a complex function, not complex, complicated function, complex meaning different things in mathematics so this one is y so i will take the denominator denominator here as our u so let's see u is 1 plus c e to the minus x so y is equal to 1 over u okay now let's get back into our derivatives here so dy over dx is equal to this one dy over du multiplied by du over dx this is called chain rule and dy over du y is 1 over u so if we take the derivative of y with respect to u we will have minus 1 over u squared and then we need to find out the derivative of u with respect to x. So u is here. The derivative of du with respect to x this is, d, is equal to 1. 1 will become 0. And c e to the minus x become minus c e to the minus x. Okay, let's get back into our okay sorry about that can we undo that oh okay okay du over dx du over dx is minus c e to the minus x okay minus and minus will become positive so i will have c e to the minus x divided by u squared Okay, we can make both of them into u or both of them into x. So I will choose to make it easy. So I will make this c e to the minus x into u form. So from here, if we move this 1 to the left hand side or subtract both sides by 1. So I will have u minus 1 is equal to c e to the minus x so we can replace this c e to the minus x as u minus 1 right u minus 1 divided by u squared okay now let's manipulate this a bit so we can divide this into this one u over u squared minus 1 over u squared Okay, this will cancel, so this will cancel. We will have 1 over u. And we can rewrite this 1 over u squared like this, right? 1 over u quantity squared. And remember that 1 over u is y. So we'll have y minus y squared, which is the same as the right hand side. So we have already verified 
that y is a solution of the ODE. Okay, now let's move on and start solving question B. So we have the function y, the solution y is 1 over 1 plus c e to the minus x. And then the initial value problem is y0 is 0 0.5. Y0 is 0 0.25. Okay, what is the meaning of y of 0? We plug this 0 to replace this x here. So I will have 1 over 1 plus c e to the minus 0. This will equal to 0 0.25. e to the minus 0 is 1. So I will have 1 over 1 plus c. And remember that 0 0.25 is 1 over 4, well, uh, 1 quarter. And so we will have 1 plus c is equal to 4, or c is equal to 3. So the particular solution of this ODE will have particular. solution we just need to plug this C into the general solution here so we will have y is equal to 1 plus over 1 plus 3 e to the minus x so this is the answer of the question B Okay, the last one, we just need to plug this into graphing software to get the plot. Okay, what can we do here? Um, maybe I will use Windows Calculator. Okay, we have graphing calculator, right? Okay. And then y is equal to 1 over 1 plus no, 1 over 1 plus 3e to the minus x. Is it correct? Yeah, this one. This one should be good. Okay, that one. Let's zoom this. Okay, this. Okay, this is the plot. Let's put this into our answer. So maybe from here. Oh, it's big. But don't worry. So this is the plot. And hopefully that's help you to solve this problem. Okay, thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.